final hack of the glucose goddess method is after one of your meals a day, use your muscles for 10 minutes. So you know how I explained that your muscles are a place where insulin stores extra glucose? Well, your muscles, as they contract, they need energy, and the first place they look is in your bloodstream. They look for glucose molecules. And so we can use this to our advantage. If you go for a 10 minute walk, if you dance in your living room, if you even do just some simple calf raises, whatever movement and muscle contraction you can do is gonna soak up some of the excess glucose from your meal. So savory breakfast, vinegar, veggie starter, movement. And after four weeks of that, you're already on a much better glucose situation. You may not know this, but I'm actually the inventor of the fake Coke, where the YouTube phenomenon where you put some balsamic vinegar yeah. in San Pellegrino water. Yeah. And I invented that wow. in my first book. No way. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. The, the fake Coke is, Very is cool. mine. Also, as I write about in the new book, Gut Check, uh, acetic acid is one of the short chain fatty acids that's actually essential for our gut bacteria to manufacture butyrate, which is the holy grail of short chain fatty yeah. acids. The other thing that I've written about way in the past is, particularly in Europe, people take a walk after a meal. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And there was a really cool study long ago yeah. asking people to either take a 10 minute walk before the meal or a 10 minute walk after the meal mm -hmm. kept the calories the same. Yeah. The people who walked before the meal actually gained weight and the people who walked after the meal lost yeah. weight. Exactly what you're saying. I love that study. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's, you know, the, the walking after eating, yes, it's a cultural habit, but actually look at the other hacks. They're also you know, habits. For example, vinegar, it's in every single kitchen in the world. Yep, exactly. It's around. We know that it's a health ingredient. Veggie starters, I mean, antipasti, crudité in France, in the Middle East, they are herbs by the bunch at the beginning of a meal. The salad with the vinaigrette, you know, to, to start a dinner is so common in Europe. Yeah. This is not groundbreaking stuff. It's just showing scientifically why our habits are so good for our health. Yeah. In fact, Fidgeting is oh, yeah? really good for you. Uh, and <laughs> fidgeters actually are, in general, much thinner than non-fidgeters. Really? Yeah. And there's a really cool study, which you'll like, is it turns out our calf muscles are really good at absorbing blood sugar. Yeah, the glucose. soleus muscle. Yeah, 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 the soleus. And there is a really cool uh -huh. study. It's Andrew at, Huberman who started yeah, talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so if you do these calf raises after yeah, so, a meal. Yeah, we're going to do calf raises the, the rest of the time. Now, right? yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, who would have guessed? But right, it, scientifically, mm -hmm. this is a really useful Isn't muscle. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, well, it's the muscle we use when we're walking. Yeah. 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 So, it's very cool. So right. if you're at your office and you, you can't go for a walk or dance, somewhere and you're in a meeting just just do some calf raises under your desk nobody will be able to tell and you'll be reducing your glucose spike wow, secret okay. magic so if you guys you know on the next podcast see me doing this i'm not being <laughs> impatient with my guests uh, or i don't have to go to the bathroom uh yeah we're, i'm just getting you know, my glucose and up. another thing on the <laughs> fidgeting i recently learned that if you're scared on a, on a plane and there's a lot of turbulence if you sort of dance on your feet like this mm -hmm. as the plane is moving it becomes less scary and you feel the turbulence less so there you go what great hacks I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast. Make sure to check out the next one here. We walked everywhere. In that year, I actually lost 40 pounds without doing anything else except walking.